hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video as you can see we were going to discuss about fractile function this function is available in both chart and script function and it's basically for those who are involved in statistics and want to look at the fractile or quantile information from the data set now in a nutshell it helps us find the value that corresponds to the fractile or quantile of the aggregated data in the expression over a number of record as you would define in the backend by the group by clause. So let's see how we can implement it in the backend and then in the front end. So here is the data that is related to or that I want to use for fractile. It is a cross table you have uh, in the front end you will get two columns type and value along with the record number as id so the type will have an observation and comparison for each row and value is basically the related value to observation and comparison and we will try to figure out a fractile from this all right so for this what i will say is uh, fractile underscore table whatever name you want to give for your statical statistical analysis load type comma fractile fractile is the function and fractile of uh, value we want a 0.75 so that's basically indicate the 75th percent value as my fractile or whatever value underscore fractile whatever you want resident uh, the previous table which is table one group by let me close this group by uh, type because type is present over here okay so hit it save and load it once we load it's done successfully come on the analysis and I will create a table to show you the detail at dimension which is first of all I will select type type will be nothing if I go back type will be observation and comparison so if you see this uh, type observation and comparison because we changed it from cross table to a flat table and uh, then what do I need I need to come over here in add column section click on dimension click on my fractile so observation is 36 which is a 75th percent observation and uh, the value or the comparison is basically 27.5 the value of under the comparison is 27.5 and the same thing you can do it in the front end as well by clicking on measure but not the dimension because this will be part of the measure so we can say fractile and uh, then we will say value all right and 0.75 right click apply you will get the same value now you can go and create other calculation or you can change this let's say you want 50 percent one you can change this and it will be changed accordingly whatever that value particular value is at the 0.5 or the 50 percent interval but that's about how you can compute the fractile or the quantile information which is uh, very helpful for those who are involved in statistical analysis and uh, in front end you get much more option as, I, as you must have seen when I was in expression editor in this fractile that you get set, set analysis you get total uh, as the keyword all distinct but in the back end you you get very less option where I believe you only get like distinct if I'm not wrong but uh, not sure if that is also available but front end is much more flexible so that's about how you can implement the fractile in ClickSense and I'll meet you now in the new video the new topic